this week to its neighbor in Niagara Square. We're talking about the new federal courthouse. It was a day of learning and reflection for both public and private school students in the city of Buffalo. I believe you can help others being discriminated against by not being one of the crowd and following the others that are discriminating against them and standing up for others. And uh, by teaching others, you can help, you know, serve the world. Now, cameras are not typically allowed in federal court, but we were invited to join in on this very important field trip. Take a look. I really enjoy history, and I think that it's very interesting to learn about everything that we've gone through and how far we've come and the accomplishments we've created in the United States. Maddie Kaywood is a senior at Buffalo Seminary. Her 1960s history class was invited to celebrate Constitution Day at the Robert H. Jackson Federal Courthouse. It's a special event put on each year by the American Board of Trial Advocates. The Constitution is the most important document in our country. It provides the outline for what governments can do and can't do and what rights citizens have. And it's important that every student understand that. This year's event holds special significance because it's also a big anniversary for a landmark Supreme Court decision for education in our country. It's the 60th anniversary of the decision in Brown versus Board of Education. So today's theme will be about Brown versus Board and the integration of uh, schools uh, not only throughout the country but in the city of Buffalo. Today specifically, we are going to celebrate the 14th Amendment, that which affords all citizens equal protection of the laws. The students from Buffalo Seminary and Hutch Tech listened to taped remarks from Judge John Curtin, who made the decision to desegregate Buffalo's public schools in the 1970s. We think it's spectacular, and Judge Curtin was incredibly gracious. He's 93, and he took the time to grant me an interview and talk with me for over 45 minutes about uh, what went into his decision. He talked about the essence of bringing uh, integration from the community up which was his approach to integration, which was a novel approach at the time. The integration of Buffalo schools went very smoothly, and he has given a lot of credit for that, and justifiably so. It's a message that still resonates with young people today, like Maddie. I've gone to a um, Buffalo public school before, and now that I'm at SEM, even I see it at school, how we're all treated more equally, and we're all able to be a part of such diverse communities, and that's what you have here today, all these diverse schools coming together and really talking about one thing that now unites us. Constitution Day, always an important day in high school history classes. Thanks again to uh, Judge Scrutney for inviting us to that special field trip. Let's toss things over to Emily Lenahan. Now it's time for our